Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. This is the smallest 5 watts VTX I ever seen. It's the AKK TX5000 AC. Look how tiny it is. Let's open the box and see what's inside. First of all, of course, you get the VTX itself. Remove this panel. You get an antenna connector, MMCX to RPSMA, a JST 6-pin connector and an instruction manual. Let's talk about specs. It is 36 by 36 by 14 millimeter, 25 grams of weight and the mounting goals are 30.5 by 30.5. M3. It is power switchable between 25, 200, 500, 1000, 3000 and 5000 milliwatts. The input voltage goes from 14.6 to 28 volts. It has a very wide spectrum with 12 different bands and 8 channels for band. Total 96 different channels going from 4900 MHz all the way to 6060 MHz. Crazy. It supports smart audio but no microphone and it doesn't have one on board. Let's strap it on a drone, crank it full power and see how it goes. And boom, finally the drone is ready. I took this PDB frame, took out the O3 and put an analog camera with the 5 watt VTX at the back. As you can see, it's mounted with uh, <laughs> zip ties because all the frames I have are for digital and they only have 30 by 35 in the front, in the main stack basically. On the back they are made for smaller VTXs, so this one doesn't fit. Yet with some zip ties it still can fit inside the frame and not outside like the bigger one. I did some testing already and if you want to use 5 watts you need to connect smart audio and set it up in beta flight. If you don't do that, basically every time you power cycle the VTX it starts back up at 25 milliwatts and you need to manually press the button and select 5 watts. Instead, using smart audio, you need to go into beta flight, VTX configuration and address all of the power levels from 0 up to 5. 5 is 5 watts. And doing that, it still starts at 25 milliwatts, but then in 5 seconds it ramps up to full power 5 watts. And that's it. And now let's fly and see how good it performs. I don't know all of this windic where it came from. I'm gonna use these goggles because uh, they offer... Oh my god! It's crazy how much wind we have right now! Wow! I should wait maybe. So I'm using these goggles because they offer better range compared to the um, digital adapter for analog. They have a little bit worse DVR so you will excuse me but I think it's better to have better range and more uh, similar to what you're gonna get with good, good goggles. These goggles are not bad reception-wise, they are only bad DVR and screen-wise. But, I mean, you see, this is 5 watts, and look how little interferences I am getting. Probably if I fly, acro is better. But, yeah, it's not bad, except for the wind. Usually I get ton of problems back here. Oh, oh, okay, no, it's a five inch. I don't see what, what I'm doing. So let, let's not chase chicken today. Just want to show. Ah, okay, here we have the irrigation system. So I cannot even fly low because my drone is gonna get drenched. See, the, the chicken now have a anti-drone uh, system. They activate the sprinklers and I cannot fly and chase them. But if you remember the other videos comparing the O3 to the 10,000 milliwatts VTX, always from AKK, you remember it having issues around this part. Now these goggles have a little bit better reception, but this is very, very comparable to what the O3 is doing, even probably a little bit better, to the point where I see that I'm losing connection with my 900 megahertz radio, and I'm still flying pretty, pretty, pretty good. I have power lines on top of me, so let's not... Wow. The range 
is much better. I don't wanna, I don't have the GPS, so I don't really want. You see? I'm using a 900 megahertz receiver on here. You see? Wow. Not gonna do crazy acro and stuff because it's not the point of this video. But, wow. I have the house. Uh, I barely saw that tree coming. So I have the house in the middle, I have a lot of stuff, very, very good. This for a long range drone, you go up to the mountain, is very lightweight, it's, uh, it's very inside the frame, not like the uh, 10,000 milliwatts one, wow. I put extra capacitors on the VTX, on, no, wait, not on the VTX, on the XT60. There are two capacitors on this drone, but still, when I push the throttle, you can see. I don't know why it. Uh, there is some uh, interference from the voltage spike. This drone is cursed. It's uh, old components put into this one, and there is something wrong. Even with all the motors I try, they sag on one side. Look, you see. I don't know what's happening, and if I push too hard, it's gonna burn. But it's not the point of this video. So I don't want to push my luck too much and lose the drone. Telemetry lost. But what I fear is that the VTX Telemetry is recovered. screaming into the, <laughs> lost. the receiver. Telemetry and recovered. that's why I'm losing the telemetry so much. Because uh, 5 watts, you can definitely feel them. While I was testing it, I had it close to my mouth, not touching, close. The antenna was cold, my mouth was getting hot. I'm not joking, it's that powerful. I don't even know, I don't think it's healthy, but <laughs> crazy. I don't know, I have to finish the video and <laughs> there is a freaking storm coming. Time for my final opinion on the AKK TX5000 AC. This VTX got me excited and almost excited enough to get back into analog maybe with a long range drone because it's super powerful at the right size. And I feel like with this existing, the Alpha 5 doesn't really make sense anymore. It has a couple of downsides, like it doesn't have an integrated mic and you cannot use a microphone, so maybe that's a deal breaker for you. Also, the Alpha lineup, even without the smart audio, turns on at full power immediately once you set it up. This has to have smart audio, but I feel like these are nitpicks and are not, are not gonna be deal breakers for most of people. Also, this has a screen and this has a row or LEDs, which I kind of find easier to read because you have all the bands, channel and power displayed at once. Instead, here you have to cycle through them. The last difference is that the Alpha line has 12 volts minimum voltage, while this 14.6. They recommend going with 6S anyways. Probably this being bigger has better step up voltage regulators. So if you are looking for an incredibly powerful VTX that you can actually fit inside your drone, I can totally recommend this one. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what do you think about this VTX and what do you think about going 5 watts of analog power. And if you want to buy something, check out the links in the description below. You help the channel a lot. And as always, stay safe and happy flying. Bye.